Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on the channel. Today we're going to be starting off a Let's Play of Mind Path to Thalamus. Now, as far as I'm aware, the Thalamus is a small section of your brain which actually controls your motor functions and how you feel senses such as uh, sight and heat and temperature and touch and stuff like that. So, I have no idea what that's going to be meaning. Um, yeah, so the game itself is supposedly kind of like a mix between a game like Antichamber, which is all about logic puzzles and stuff like that, or non-logic puzzles in some respects, and a game like Dear Esther. So I am going to try and be quite quiet whenever the uh, character starts talking himself because it is very narratively driven. And because the game is going to be quite linear in its design, I really do recommend that if you want to actually play this for yourself, go and do it now and then watch my Let's Play afterwards and actually see... Um, how I play it compared to how you played it. I will leave a link into the description. It's just gone live on Steam. And yeah, let's uh let's start this again. As you can see, I've only literally just started the game. I just wanted to do a quick recording test. And there's a lot of talking, so uh let's get into this guys. See we're into the world now. Uh, and that doesn't look very good. It, it kind of looks like Spain. Sophia! God damn it. Not again. Sophia! Looks like we're looking for somebody. Honey, close all the windows! I have to say straight off the bat, guys, it looks very pretty. Can her here? Whoa, 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 settle down, son. Where are you? Call out to me, please. That's coming in, isn't it? That is getting close. That is getting very close. Sophia! Dang it. Whoa. Oh, wow. Sweetie, do freaky. Not go God damn it. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Like, I was really hoping this wasn't a horror please, game. Please, baby, don't do this to me. Where are you? Sophia? Baby. Have I lost my daughter? Maybe? Hmm. Am I dead? Falamus. How many times will I kill her? I've asked myself that question a thousand times. It was always there, flying around my head like my own personal vulture, waiting for me to die and scavenge my corpse. It was the only thing I could think about when I ended up in that hospital bed. Wait, I can hear a beep. That's like a heart rate monitor. Ah, right. Falamus. I'm in a coma. I must be in a coma. But I can't really blame the tornado, can I? What can you expect from a force of nature? I was the one who chased it. My obsession. I deserved to be in that bed, neither dead nor alive. I had screwed with destiny, and it screwed me right back. Fair deal. It was also reassuring to know that I couldn't harm anybody else, as long as I was in a coma. That oh. was the type of nonsense I had to tell myself to keep me on the path. 
That went back. So I must have had my daughter with me when I was chasing a tornado, and uh, it didn't go so well. For all those years, I'd hated my father almost as much as myself for what happened to my little sister. And then I go and do the same thing to my own daughter, my own Sophia. And they say things never change. <laughs> Cynics, what do they know? Oh wow, so his father must have been a storm chaser also who lost his sister. And now I've gone and lost my daughter. Saying that, if I ended up in a coma because of that tornado, I don't know if I've lost her yet. Surely. I'm just assuming that I've lost her because I couldn't find her in the house. What happens if she hid? Whoa. I put Sophia in danger, taking her with me on the job. Severe weather phenomena. It's more exciting than it sounds. Hmm. Extreme weather. There's some radical 90s slang for you. My reckless father had done the same thing with Sophia and I. At least this time she didn't suffer. Well, had I known, but I didn't. Not yet. Um, that makes no sense. So the father had done the same with his sister. So his sister was named Sophia also, so it's like he's named his daughter after his dead Seems sister. Seems death has always been a backseat driver on my journey through life. But even then I couldn't see it. I was so damn consumed by my sister that even at death's door, I couldn't see its face. That was freaky. What is this? I can hear you talking. I not go this way. No. <sighs> oh, unless that's death. Heading towards the light and all that jazz. It's actually quite intense. I'm actually feeling quite nervous. Picture. Her drawing. The first of many. It had been too long since Sophia had been more than a whisper screaming in the back of my mind. But I could still recognize it. I admit, at that moment, hope started to flourish inside me. Where would the drawings lead me? Was my little sister alive in this world? Your little sister or daughter? I can hear people walking around this room and it is freaky. I don't like it, guys. I didn't think it was going to be a horror game. You know that I don't like horror games. But this looks freaky as all hell. Whoa. What? Nick and Sophia. 1976. 81. Okay, so 80. Let's make the assumption that we first got measured at four or five, which would have made her nine. Nine or ten. And in 86, if I got measured in 76, 16? That doesn't make sense. Ten years, five, fifteen, sixteen. And again, if I was only a kid. It makes sense to stop measuring at 16. Poor girl. Where do I go? Oh wow, this is just like antechamber. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I can hear a baby. Oh, come on. What? Around the wall? It's like a picture of family. Maybe me 
my dad and Sophia. We'll see. I'm nervous. See what's behind us. I can't go behind. Ooh. Like my father before me, I had spent all my life studying weather phenomena. I thought I was different. I thought I was doing it to pay my debt to Sophia. I was wrong. But all that work couldn't have been for nothing. <laughs> I was told my very first published study on the hazards of road fog was all sorts of helpful. I was rather proud of them. And now, of course, to get to Sophia, I had to bend fog to my will. That'd be the first of many, too. So this, look, this orb thing looks kind of like a thalamus. It's like the center of the brain with all the neural netways coming off it. What's that? Oh, it's the same picture. It must be something to do with those trees. I'm just going to do a quick test, guys. I want to see if, you know, there's a invisible wall. Well, it looks like a bent fog. Can I go through this? Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. If I stick this in here. Wait, I can hear a train. That's train tracks. I ain't going in there. Does the train come through? Or do I have to go and get hit by the thing? Ah, uh, here goes nothing. Did I die? Again? Oh wow. No, like, no one can deny that. This is beautiful, guys. So beautiful. I'm going to try and walk to one side again. I'm assuming that it's all blocked off and I'm just going to start following the path. So I just want to make sure. Or is it all blocked off? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go up to that, uh, what looks like a path, and we'll just follow that for a little while. I don't know why it's making me feel so nervous. Every decision creates ripples. Countless unforeseen consequences. If we could see the inner workings of this infinity, we would mimic the deer that stands still to elude its predator. We wouldn't dare make a move. I couldn't see it, so I followed the path. And that kept me alive. But it did much more than that. Introspection can be far more scarring than any wound. The reflections are broken. The reflections are showing everything perfect. The picture's there again. That's on it. No, it was one of those little black swiggly things that we saw at the start. Does that mean that's not there? Wait, so... I shouldn't be able to jump over this? Interesting. I wonder if I'm going to have to need to use that soon. Can I walk on these? That is a question. 
Yeah. First, I saw myself reflected in the shallow sea, and I wept. Then fear found me deep in the bottomless belly of this world. Time unraveled in the forest. It was much later, in the world of ice, that I fought against the demons that had been passed down to me, father to son. And finally, on the heavens and at the sacred tree, the truth of my maker. For all that, solitude and sorrow were my true, faithful companions in the path of Talamus. They consumed Talamus. the beauty of this realm, making it gray and hopeless. The only thing that mattered was moving forward. Only the path remained. How would I find her otherwise? I thought it was Thalamus, but he's saying Thalamus, so I don't know if I'm getting that wrong myself. Or if maybe I'm just getting the whole idea wrong. Yes, that's one of those black swirly things. That must be what they use to see if there is a tornado coming. I have no idea. Still walk on these. So gorgeous. Game's a work of art. Wait, wait, shadows. Yeah, there's nothing. The reflections are all still perfect. Do I need to get into this? So there's a mirror down there and there's a mirror up here. Where's the sun? Oh, there is no sun. Oh, wow. Ah, okay. Okay, so it's kind of... Well, I haven't got no control over it, but it, it looks like it's kind of like those uh, portal puzzles where you have to line up the lasers. And yes, this has opened up. Mirrors, mirrors on the wall. Who is the smartest of them all? Oh. So beautiful. I kind of wish that this worked with the Oculus Rift. That'd be so pretty. She was just a little kid, even more so than I, laughing away while playing on a swing set. I saw it coming before she did, and I ran and ran and ran and didn't look back until I was safe, all the way up in a tree. It was all over in a split second. No dramatic exit. And suddenly, she was gone. Ah, uh, right. I, I've just kind of started to understand it. So when I thought, like, 15, 16, that was a little bit young. Um, it must have been 15 or 16 when my father took me out to do the storm chasing and Sophia didn't make it. So I must have hit up the tree when I was 15, 16. What am I supposed to do? Try and check the reflections as well, just in case, but... That's where I came from. Um... Oh. Ah, okay. And the mirror. Well, that was an easy puzzle, thankfully. Look at the reflection, guys. <laughs> it's completely different. The stairs haven't got a reflection. Okay, so where is the reflection? Let's try and keep this in mind. To here. To this post, flip, flip, 
up. Okay, I understand now. Wait, is this the same place that I just came out of? Ah, but there's more stuff. So, really, I should just have to pay attention to these reflections and be able to get this done quite quickly. I don't know if there's a specific order that I need to do them all Who's in. Who's to blame for her death? The tsunami did what it did. No point in blaming God or fate. So I looked in the mirror as I had many times before and reflected back on it. I saw guilt. My father shared some of the burden, but it was mine. My guilt. My fault. So I'm assuming that I'm, this is all to try and, and wake up from the coma. Too, back home, or in this world. One had drowned, and the other. What are the odds of surviving the eye of the storm? There are a few accounts. 1928, Greensburg, Kansas. A farmer saw the inside of a tornado. It was still as death, he said. Then it hissed. It actually screamed. And the hollowness was lit up by lightning. Was that the last thing my little girl had seen, I wondered? Death, screams, and God's thunder? The ire Oops. of the tornado. Wait, so if I'm trying to wake up, maybe, like, spoiler alert, just an assumption, when I wake up, there's going to be my daughter with me. She's going to be stood by the side of my hospital bed. Alright, so if I turn around here... Okay. This last one. Looks like it. This is the easiest one as well. No. Left, right. So left. Ah, oh, it's the opposite. <laughs> Sneaky. And now what do I do? I couldn't know. Not yet. Trapped in that world, the only thing I knew was my sister had survived in there, somehow. I just had to let myself be led by her drawings and her light. The Thalamus was waiting for me, although I wouldn't see it and with it any sense of hope until I had emerged from the darkness of the cave. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. So I jump across there again, I should be able to drop down where I've just opened up, right? Okay. And this is opened. Good. Nope. Whoo. Something really mystifying about this game. It's so gorgeous. Mine. Path to Thalamus. 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 We'll go a little bit further, guys, and on the next transition, we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. These are like the trees which open up that fog before, so I assume that I may need to find an orb. Can you hear that? Do I follow the music? Maybe? It's getting louder. And this colour was the same colour as the orbs that we saw before, so maybe this is the way that we're supposed to be going. Music stopped.
Maybe it's the other way then. Music just sounds so haunting. I couldn't imagine playing this with the Oculus Rift. I think I would literally poop my pants. I don't think I could take it. There's just so much kind of atmosphere here that I think I'd lose my mind. So beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I'll take that. If you see those little spikes, that's going to be the end of that section, so no point in checking it out. Can I chuck this? Oh, The come sand back. between my toes. I hadn't paid attention to the feeling before, and now I couldn't. I didn't feel my body at all. My alarming lack of a physical presence was too much of an existential threat to handle, so I didn't. It must be the Thalamus, because the Thalamus is actually responsible for nerves and touch. I don't like the look of this. Into the belly of the beast. Unlike Jonah's, mine was no big fish, but it was just as frightening, if not more so. The story of Jonas who goes into the belly of the fish. I keep hearing breaking glasses. Okay guys, well, uh, before I move forward and start some more talking, I'm actually going to leave it here. So we've just come to the cave. Um, anything behind? Can I go back? Nothing. That looks like death. Yeah, that was, uh, I wasn't supposed to go there, it seems. And I've broken the game. Oops. It doesn't matter, guys. I'm going to get back there in the next episode. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this game so far is looking crazy. I'm going to stop walking backwards and going back at the start because it's always an invisible wall. And this time there wasn't an invisible wall and I fell off the world. But that, that that's okay. Um. Yeah, I'm actually caught in really deeply into the game, so if you're new to the channel, don't forget to slow that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness, and as always, like the video if you like the video, and we've only just started this game, and like I said already at the very start, if this kind of game interests you, I beg you, go and buy the game, it's £8, so around $15, it looks like it's going to be an amazing experience, and I don't want to be spoiling it for anybody that hasn't played it, so only watch this if you don't intend to buy it in the first place. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, peace out. Bye-bye.